and I'm just gonna dive straight into it. I think this is the perfect storm that the markets needed to have a correction in the overall bull market. That's it. Welcome back to the channel guys. It is Jason Pizzino on my channel here on YouTube. Today, let's talk about the coronavirus. As if you haven't heard about this enough, but I wanna throw my two cents into the mix and see if we can double our money. What is the worst that can happen? I put a post out on Facebook today asking that exact question. And I got a huge range of different questions ranging from anything that uh, the toilet paper will run out, which we've seen plenty of those sort of articles, all the way up to this could be an absolute pandemic, it's all over, four years of a complete and utter disaster in the stock markets, so, and everything in between. But I'm asking you, what is the worst that can happen? Let me know in the comments down below. I think the worst that can happen is that you don't like this video, so go and do that now, and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can see more videos from me that come up nice and fresh. And what is the worst that can happen? We don't know. All right, so that's probably the end of the video. No one knows. But what I want to throw out there is that I don't think it's as bad as what the media is making out. There are many friends that I have online that think it is worse than what the media is making out. They think that China is hiding a lot of information and they're not showing us the actual uh, mortality rate and it could be a lot worse than what we're expecting. And then I have a lot of friends that think it's just another flu and the worst that's happened is we don't have a vaccine for it. We have similar death rates as what we do with a regular flu and they think it's just gonna all blow over. I'm possibly somewhere in the middle, but I'm gonna look at this more from a market perspective and what I think is happening on the markets and what we can have to look forward to in the coming 12 to 24 months. And I'm just gonna dive straight into it. I think this is the perfect storm that the markets needed to have a correction in the overall bull market. That's it. I think that's all that this is. We've seen an extended run up for the last 10 or so years in many of the world's stock markets, and we haven't had a major pullback yet. We've seen many dips along the way, but this has been the first big piece of international news to create panic. And what I think is gonna happen is the markets are going to crash, as we've seen, uh, so I'm not telling you anything new there, but I think after that, we're gonna see the markets correct. This could take several months, but I do not see this happening as a GFC or any sort of major meltdown that many of the naysayers and the doomsday reporters of the last 10 years believe is going to happen. What many friends that have asked me, what I've suggested, that can take my advice or they can leave it, is that they can create a dollar cost averaging plan and then follow that. The main thing is that you stick to that plan, you have the plan before you get into the stock market and the crypto market or anywhere else, and that you just follow it all the way through. So what we should hopefully have by now is our investment plan and our outlook to the future. What I wanna to touch on next is why I think this could be the case and of course, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I love to check out and learn, study from Phil Anderson's work. He's an Australian economist. So turning to a recent email from Phil Anderson, he discusses the recent tops in the market, the subsequent falls, and touches on the coronavirus and where he thinks this is all headed. So if we turn our attention to the chart that Phil has here, we can see black, blue, red, and green lines. All of the years that end in O have this trend that the black line shows. So they're all added together, and then averaged out over this chart. That's where they appear throughout the year. You can see at the top, there's February, March, April, May, June, all the way through to December. The green line are the years 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 90, 120 in the cycle. And then the red line, 20 and 60 year cycle. Blue line is the first half of the real estate cycle. I'll leave a link to the video uh, above and below in the description that you can check out what he is talking about when it comes to the real estate cycle. But we just wanna understand how we're coming to the decision that this could be a 12 to possibly 18, 24 months downtrend. Basically, years in the past, if we're looking at roadmaps, if we're looking at 
what has happened in history, it shows that these years all have downtrends to them. They all vary in how far they fall, but overall the trend shows that these years ending in O are downtrends. From what I have seen over the last eight years of following Phil and 10 years trading markets, these roadmaps tend to have a very high probability of success, at least in the form that you can understand, okay, this year may be down, whereas other years are more likely to be up. I've also spoken about it on my channel many times before that this period is part of the mid-cycle slowdown in the overall long-term real estate cycle, which is approximately 18.6 years. As I said before, I'll leave a video link to that video explaining the cycle in the description down below, and I've probably left a few links uh, throughout this video above, which you can click on and check those videos out. They are in a little bit more depth, so they can be a bit dry, but bear with it, ask me questions, and I'll do my best to explain it to you. Otherwise, you can join me on my Facebook and you can chat to me there. Follow the links down below. We're midway through, 10 years up, maybe a year or so down, and then we're gonna continue out into the mid to late 2020s based on the work of Phil and many other economists before him which aren't in the mainstream. One last thing to wrap this up is we cannot trust the news. I think most of us are aware of this by now. Here is a news article and it goes on to talk about a headline. This one is the best one that they've found in an Australian newspaper called The Australian. And basically the headline is everyone will get the virus. Headlines like this tend to be at the end of a cycle. So maybe we'll see a bounce from here which is typically called a dead cat bounce, and that's gonna just get us closer to the high again, but maybe not break through. So that's potentially what we'll see here, and that'll fool a lot of people into thinking that their purchases were great at the bottom and they tend to not sell, maybe buy a little bit more as the market continues to rise. Overall, I don't think this is a worldwide panic that we are going to be in a depression state for however many years to come. I genuinely see this as a mid-cycle slowdown. This piece of news coming out of Asia is just the straw that broke the camel's back at this point. And I think there's a lot of underlying selling that needs to happen. Markets have been overextended for such a long period of time. So something like this, it's just happens in the cycle. It's just time for a break in the market. Who knows what will happen later on? That's why I have the dollar cost averaging plan just in case. It's a good time to pick up some things that are cheaper than they were two weeks ago. If nothing else comes of it, great, that's what we get. If it happens to be a recession, they're usually short-lived and quite mild. We will recover from that, like I've been going on about six, 12, 18 months. Once markets figure out that this is not the Black Plague, we'll see a recovery and probably a quick recovery from there, but it will take a bit of time for the news to spread around. That's the decline, people selling out, people fearful and then it'll reverse from that point because things will go back to normal. It's just a virus. It's not gonna shut down the world. I think I've said enough. I think you get the point. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan to do. Are you gonna dollar cost average in? Are you just gonna dump all of your money in at the next fearful point? Or are you selling out, just going straight into gold and saying, it's it, the world's over. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks again, as always, for joining me on the channel. Maybe you can get across to my Instagram, my Facebook, where I've got a group over there. We talk about everything from fitness, finance, food, fun. It's a great community. I'll see you over there. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you at the next video. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Catch you next time. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out. Thank you.